Hi, my name is John Walsh with the Logic Group, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate our Jumbo Tracer using three boards. With the Jumbo Tracer with three boards, we can easily digitize patterns that are up to 5 feet to 12 feet in size. I have a cardboard pattern here. It's going to take me a couple minutes to digitize it, and I want to show you how. Um, the, the first thing that I'm going to do on, on this template is I've got to draw, mark on the template two calibration points. So I'm marking one right here, and then I'm going to mark one uh, on the other side over here. That's going to allow me to move the template on the boards and make edits to them. Everything that I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on the template some areas that I cannot digitize. So there's between the two boards I can't digitize. I can go across, but I can't digitize. So I'm marking those points that I cannot uh, digitize there and there and there and one on the other side too. So I'm going to digitize everything, skipping those middle spots, and then I'm going to move the template and then, and then uh, uh, digitize the ones that I've skipped. So I just come into our software here and I click the button over here to do those calibration points. It's going to tell me to, to mark them on the template. And then I just come over here and I take the pen stylus and I digitize that calibration point right there. And then I come over and digitize the calibration point on the other sides. And then that's going to allow me to move the template to make changes to it. I then come into the software, click the digitize button, and I'm going to do tracing, which just means freehand drawing, and then click start. And then on the left hand side, it is a straight line, so I'm just going to do it as two points. I'll click that point there, and that point there. And then I'm going to take the pin stylus and just trace right along the edge of that template. I have the tip of the pin down and I just trace right along that template. I'm going to skip this area here in the middle between the two boards and go over and keep going on the other side over here. As you can see that I'm, while I'm digitizing, it's going to show it to you on the screen. Skip over here, go to this side over here. I'm just going the pin stylus right along the edge of the template. You know, walk over to the other side. Oh, it's looking really good on the screen there. It's so fast too. I'm going to get this thing done in just a couple minutes. <clears throat> if I was trying to do this with a CAD program, this thing would take me hours and hours and hours. It's so fast. It's so accurate. Went to my last section here. Hold that tip of that pin down. Just go back to where I started. And then I come over to the software. And I click the button that says done. And uh, it's going to ask me if I want to connect to the first last point. I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to save this thing so that I can move the template on the board. So I come in here to file, save as, whoops, file, 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 save as. I'm going to call this 3EX and then hit OK. And then I'm going to come in, clear this. I got to move my template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it a foot that way. So I'm going to move it a foot down that way. This will allow me to digitize those little sections that I skipped. So I come in here and I come to file. And I'm going to open that file. I'm going to open it with alignment. And then I click OK. And then it's going to tell me to digitize those two reference points again, those two calibration points. So I digitize that point right there. And then I come in here and digitize this point here. Okay, okay. Now the software knows how everything's aligned and I can make changes to it. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hit edit. And then I'm going to tell I'm going to edit a portion. So then I come in the template. Remember I skipped this little spot right here between the two boards. I just come in and digitize that one little section that I had skipped. And then I come in and I hit finish here and the software connects everything automatically. I don't have to do anything. It's going to connect it automatically. Is this correct? Say yes. I then going to do edit again. I'm going to do this little section that was that we skipped here. Again, all I do is, is digitize the part that I skipped and then I click finished and I click, is this correct? Yes. And I've got another section. I still have two more on the top. I click edit. And then I come in and digitize that little section that I skipped. 
and then I click finished again and then uh, it's going to ask me is this correct I say yes so it connects that one and then I have one more so I click edit and then I digitize this little other piece that I skipped see this is allowing me to digitize this whole thing very quickly using these three boards digitize right along there and then I come in to the software and I again click finished and it asks me is that correct I say yes and now I've got the whole thing and then I so I've completely digitized the whole pattern now I can come in here to create file and I'm going to call this um, let's call it a hook and then it's going to save it as a DXF file. So with our jumbo, and it created the DXF file. So with our jumbo tracer, I took a template here that was about 10 feet long and three feet wide. Very difficult to get this into the computer. I was able to get this pattern into the computer in less than five minutes. Uh, my name is John Walsh. If you have questions about this product, please contact me. Thank you.